And good evening. Yes, a beautiful weekend for bicycling, for walking, whatever you wanted to do this weekend. I went for a big bike ride yesterday. It felt fantastic. To me, yesterday was just perfect. And today, not bad, but it was warmer. We're at 74 right now. Winds from the east. And note the dew point is in the 70 degree range, actually 71 in New Orleans. Huge difference in that measure of humidity from yesterday to today. Again, not terrible outside, but you can kind of see some of that hazy moisture out there. I did ask on social media what everybody was doing in this kind of weather and indeed people bicycling, going to pumpkin patches yesterday and today. These uh, covered the two days, all sorts of things outside. So it was one of these nice October weekends and certainly the first half of it really did feel nice and fallish. And then today, not terrible, of course, but our high was 84. The average high at this point in the year is 80. So we were above average for temperatures. And actually that trend is going to continue through this entire week and into next weekend. I'm sorry I don't have any cold front news to bring you uh, as of Sunday night or for the next several days, but maybe next week, as I mentioned, which we'll talk about in a second. We're in the 70s right now. Our winds have been more from the east and even southeast. So after our front early in the weekend that cooled us down yesterday, we are seeing the moisture increase. We're seeing our humidity go up for really the entire week, and that's also going to bring in some more warmth and continued warmth, as I've said, all the way through next weekend. Your wake up forecast early tomorrow. North Shore will be in the middle 60s. South of the lake, about 70 degrees by early Monday morning. So not as cool as the past couple of mornings. Overall, a pretty quiet start to the day, though. And then tomorrow highs could be about 85 or so, similar to today. Partly cloudy skies and the rain chance will only be about 10 or 20 percent. So we might as we see this increased humidity and more moisture in the atmosphere, we might have a couple of showers in the afternoon, but I'm not expecting a lot of widespread rain really the next several days. Our temperatures tomorrow climb into the 80s in the middle of the day and then we're back in the 70s for tomorrow evening and then we continue in the 80s as we get into Thursday and Friday. In fact, those two days we may have a slightly higher chance for rain. Our our forecast is pretty steady this week. We'll have a trough of low pressure to our north and some more moisture and a little wave action to our south. So we'll kind of be between these two features. Nothing uh, moving in as far as fronts or anything like that. Actually, this week wouldn't be bad if you're into astronomy to see some meteors, hopefully, especially if you're up early before sunrise. The peak of the Orionid meteor shower is Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and so it's a kind of modest shower. You might see up to 20 meteors per hour, perhaps. Best time is midnight to 6 a.m. And the new moon was a couple of nights ago, so the sky should be dark without a whole lot of moonlight. It'll be a little crescent moon there, so you can look anywhere in the sky. The radiant point is the Orion uh, constellation with the three uh, stars in a row. It's always easy for me to find immediately when I look out there. Maybe you too, but you can look anywhere in the sky for the meteors. That's just the point from which they come, but they can show up anywhere else. Also, I've been seeing Mars, and this one is so easy to view. If you're into astronomy, I'm sure you've been taking a look at it. The really bright orangey sky or orangey star that shows up in the sky uh, in the east after 8 p.m. after sunset. Very easy to spot right now. It's especially big. It won't be this uh, large appearing for the next 15 years, and it's also at the peak brightness this week. The actual peak brightness was just a couple of days ago. In the tropics, we are talking about a couple of spots, but no threats to our area in Louisiana. This is the spot that will probably become either subtropical or tropical storm Epsilon pretty soon, but this one is just kind of going to meander out here in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and then eventually probably drift north. So this one might be our next name on that list of the Greek letters that we are charging through somehow this season. And then this other spot we're watching, it has a low chance of development. Notice only 20% in the next five days. So this is just really an area to watch. Some models were developing this, then today they kind of backed off and keep it kind of loose, but eventually it might drift off to the north. So we'll keep our eye on it, but it doesn't look like that'll be a threat to Louisiana. So we'll keep you updated on those. Our seven day forecast shows those temperatures staying pretty steady and then the rain chance up a little bit Thursday and Friday next weekend looking drier right now with highs maybe in the middle 80s. Still that next front might be set for the possibly 27th, 28th of October, something like that. So we'll get you more details of that, of course, as we get closer.